And talking about our weather again, first alert, meteorologist Chrissy Kohler joins us right now. Really gorgeous start to our week after oh, a holiday nice. weekend. Yeah. But I know things are, you know, going to be changing a little bit here and there. <laughs> It's just crazy to think we're going to be into December here by the end of the week. Too. I know it certainly doesn't feel like it, does no. it? Um, no. Yeah, and and believe it or not, our temperatures even just this week are going to be all over the place. Oh boy, we're warm, Get we're cool, ready. we're warm, we're cool, <laughs> we're back and forth here. <laughs> so don't put anything away. Keep the coats handy, keep the t-shirts handy, because you're probably going to need them all week, and you're going to need the umbrellas once we get into the middle part of the week, which is why we're issuing a first alert weather day for Wednesday. Now, as we take a look at the big map, it's nice and quiet out there. You're saying, where's the system that's headed our way? Well, we're going to be watching the Gulf Coast of Texas overnight tonight for that system to start to develop, and then it moves across the southeast tomorrow, and then into our area starting Tuesday night into Wednesday morning and then throughout the day on Wednesday. So we've got some nice quiet weather ahead of this. We've got our temperatures that have been, as we were just saying, nice and mild today, especially across the upstate northeast Georgia where we're in the low to mid 60s, which is above normal for this time of year. Normal daytime high is 60 degrees, so we're running about five or so degrees above that. 66 right now in Greenville is one of the warmer spots, 64 in Tacoa, Georgia, into Clemson, uh, down to Warrens as well, 63 in Gaffney and Abbeville, up through the mountains. It's a little bit cooler for you where you get 54 in Hendersonville or excuse me, Asheville as well as Bakersonville, Hendersonville. You're at 56 degrees right now and uh, much cooler 50 degrees in Waynesville, of course, at those higher elevations. And then our temperatures are going to drop as we head into this evening down into those mid 40s for overnight lows across the upstate with good radiational cooling, nice clear skies, nice calm winds. We'll see that in the mountains as well. Possibility of some mat patchy mountain fog for tomorrow morning down into those mid to upper 30s for overnight lows. And then as we look ahead to Wednesday, Wednesday. That widespread morning rain comes into play, impacting that morning commute. Possibility for some thunderstorms as well and damaging straight line winds not out of the question for us when we talk about severe potential. Of course, we'll have to fine tune those details as we get a little bit closer, but fine tuning the traffic forecast right now is Chris Scott.